The Museum of Communications was founded in, in 1985. In this very room, we had a gala kickoff luncheon and it was totally stripped, it had one light bulb burning in the ceiling. This is our newest piece of equipment into the museum. The time from your telephone company. It's an audiocron unit and it's a magnetic drum that plays back the time of day. Is 316. My favorite telephones are the Model 500 desk set because they always work and they're extremely reliable. Green and light gray are my two favorite colors. My personal phone collection, I have about 200 phones and my basement is just full of them. Hello? Hi Dave, how are you doing? One of the things about the Telephone Museum that we try to explain to people is that what you're looking at are basically mechanical computers and that this was the high tech of the 1920s, the 1930s, the 1940s and it was just as exciting to the people then as things like the computer, internet, uh, wireless telephony is today. Six of these large 4200 pair cable can carry as much information as just two tiny fiber optic strands today. Come down to the Museum of Communications and see telephones, teletypes, switching equipment, poles and wires, and broadcast equipment such as this 1928 broadcast transmitter. I really love to watch little kids when they come in pick up a rotary dial phone and press on the holes in the dial and nothing happens and they say it doesn't work. They've never spun a dial in their life. <laughs>